everybody welcome back to my channel so today is this very special video because I'm basically going to recap the best moments of 2018 which was a pretty freaking epic year and I just want to take this time to thank everyone who supported me this year and kind of followed along my journey and it means the world to me that I have so many awesome supporters like you so I hope you enjoyed this video um, leave me a comment below and tell me what your favorite moment of this video was because I'll, I'll tell you mine so you tell me yours with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at 2018 you found me I'm here at LAX about to go to Denver Colorado it's so early in the morning but at least I had time to cake makeup all over my face <laughs> I didn't have time to put a, a decent shirt on 2018 was the year that I decided to start prepping again for bikini competitions I took a year off and I started actually prepping at the end of 2017 but I was in serious prep mode in 2018 and let me just say that it was off to a rough start and at this point, I kind of discovered that I had a thyroid issue around, I want to say, January, February-ish. And it really slowed down my progress for the Arnold, which I was attempting to do, but didn't succeed with that because I ended up not being able to prep in time. So I wasn't able to, to peak in the right um, condition that I felt was necessary for the Arnold. But that was a negative part of this year, but the positives of this year was I met some awesome people. I met Nadim, who is my videographer. Sometimes you see him in my videos. I got pretty close with my coach, Adam, too, who I call not only my coach, but my friend as well. Hi, uh, how it's how opened. Going? Yeah, I was at the hospital last night. How are hey, you doing? How are you? Good to see you, good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, they took it all out yesterday. Oh, man. So I gotta get pretty for Ashley, she's coming in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Did you get the mascara? <laughs> it's not too bad, right? No, it's not. Yeah. Not, not unless you look really close. To yeah, yeah. I, uh, I was an accident on seven days ago, eight days ago, I got a strained uh, tendon. It's the only thing that's really bad. So. so those two made this year pretty, pretty memorable because they were with me through this whole journey and traveled with me everywhere and Nadim was able to capture some great moments which you will see in this video as well. So it was really cool to have my own little team with me. But with that being said, like I mentioned, I was not able to peak for the Arnold in time. So I set my sights on the next show, which was kind of on my radar, which was the Denver Mile High Pro. And I chose that show because it's where my coach lives. So I ended up going out there a week early. See it. Here we go. Teeny one. That's exactly your uh... teeny tiny itty bitty. <laughs> so now That's... we're down how many pounds from Gosh, from beginning? 42, 25. 25 pounds, guys. Yeah. I'm five foot five because a lot of people ask me. I am five foot five inches, so that is a lot for me. I have a small frame, like my bones are small. I think I'm pretty small frame, yeah, right? Petite, yeah. So it's, it's a lot. This is a lot for me to kind of prep and to make sure I'm in peak condition and for this show I definitely not only met my goal but exceeded my expectations and came in way leaner than I ever have and I, I surprised myself I really impressed myself but I got into this condition by doing a lot of Santa Monica stairs workouts with coach Adam I flew to him several times to um, train hardcore so got some good good workouts with coach Adam and um, also I participated in a lot of 10k races so I was really big on the cardio let's hear it for our winner tonight Ashley Paul Hawk. Her trophy. The following shows also were very successful for me. I did the Vancouver Pro Show. Teeny winner. And they are the top five ladies in that bumper. Good pit. job. Jesse Pinault is fourth. Tiffany Servish is third. Jennifer Dory second. And the winner of the Pro Bikini, Ashley Colt Wasser. And also the Battle in the Desert. Good job, Ash. Good. So 
I won the Denver Mile High, I won Vancouver, and Battle in the Desert. And these were all such great memories for me. And I just remember being so, so, so happy um, during each of these trips that I got to spend with my friends. And even my friend Lucy came out to support me for some of these as well. So throughout this whole process, I was creating content with Nadim and making sure that I'm posting on YouTube once a week, which I post still every Monday at least. Um, and just kind of building my brand that way. I launched my fitness app, which is in the link in this description. And during this whole time, again, my sights were set on the Olympia. It's the biggest show of the year. It's the Super Bowl, if you will. So, you know, I had some pretty good momentum coming into Olympia. I had won my three shows and things were looking good. My body was peaking at the right time and everything was going according to plan. So at the Olympia, it was such an exciting event. It's kind of like I walked into the Orleans and just smelt that that familiar smell of the Olympia. I know it sounds crazy, but it has its own like smell to it. Um, Welcome to my hotel room. It's pretty freaking awesome. Brings back so many memories. As soon as I walked in, it was a slight hint of a spray tan aroma and then I knew I was home. This is home. I love it. I absolutely love this place. So many great memories. I just, I can't wait. Ah! This is my view. I always gotta show you the views. It's like a postcard, you know? And I got a little balcony. Did you see this balcony? I got a balcony out here. I just don't know how to get there. How do I get this balcony? You can. Really? Okay. Well, the good news is we have couch, uh -huh. so I can chill, and okay. I got a chair, and I got a TV, and that's what's up. But most importantly, I have a mini fridge. This fridge is like kind of big. It is. Food for my whole weekend is going in there. But I'm excited. I just can't express how excited I am. My luggage is on its way up with the bailman. Um, and you know what? When I was walking through the Orleans Hotel, I literally got goosebumps because I was so excited for the Olympia. And the big day came and, you know, I got ready, did my hair, makeup, last minute posing, and gosh, I was just so happy to be back on stage. I couldn't believe it. Back at the Olympia and kind of a lot of fond memories revolving around Olympia. I've, I've won that show three times and I was coming back after taking a year off. It was such an incredible experience just to be back in the mix. It, you know, at the beginning of the year, I was so unsure that I was able to get back to where I was and physically. Um, but not only did I come back to where I was physically, but even better in my opinion. Um, you know, I made a lot of improvements throughout the year, especially this year. I made drastic improvements from um, the the time I started prepping with Adam till till the Olympia lots lots of of good muscle definition I got and obviously I spoke about this in a few of my other videos but I'm very proud of my glute development um, from the beginning of the year till now so those are some things that I will you know take with me as as a positive I ended up placing fifth at this show which you know I was not mad about I mean like I said I was happy just to be back I honestly mean that and you know as, as um, the sport gets more well known, the competition is much tougher. So I did take that in consideration and I'm not, I'm not mad about it. And let's see what 2019 brings as far as my competition season goes, but I was, I was a happy camper that day. Um, a week later, I traveled to Korea. I didn't have Nadine with me, so I didn't have a lot of content. I just basically have some iPhone video of it, but um, that, was a, that was a tough show for me. Um, because again, we had two of the Olympia competitors that placed above me do it. So I ended up taking third at Korea. After Korea, I took a little bit of break, 
took a few weeks off just to be normal, did some photo shoots, and actually throughout this time around uh, Korea and in between, I ended up gracing the cover of three magazines, which was an awesome thing. And, um, you know, I think this makes a total of 13 magazines I've been on the cover of, so that's pretty good. I mean, um, if you guys know, like, where I came from, like, it's just, it's so surprising to me that I ended up where I am because I'm just, I don't know, I was a girl in Ohio working at a bar and I won the Olympia and got all these great opportunities. And it's just so awesome to me that even now it's rolled over into even more great opportunities and just this year really been focusing on building my fitness brand as well and you know that's very important in the long run too so fast forward a little bit to about november we went to japan it's my first time in japan i was so excited to go because i always wanted to go to japan and this show was different because i got to spend some time afterwards to explore the city to have a little fun to enjoy some japanese food and i'll be honest the japanese food i wasn't so much a fan of because a lot of it's fish flavored and i hate fish i hate seafood so that wasn't that appealing to me but i had fun and i had fun exploring i think it's so cool to visit a different country especially one that's so different from the usa and it's a great experience and it's just so awesome to me that fitness has created all these opportunities for me to travel to explore and i hope to do a lot more of that in 2019 and i finished this year off with a vacation to hawaii which i needed a vacation that didn't necessarily have to do with any competition, just me and relaxation and, you know, fun in the sun. So that was a great time for me. And now I'm wrapping up 2018 with a smile because, I don't know, just reflecting on these memories just makes me really happy. So I'm glad that I have like a video to kind of showcase it all for you guys. And like I mentioned before, my YouTube videos and even Instagram, I guess you could say, is kind of like an online diary and a scrapbook, if you will, um, of all the great times I had. So it's cool that I can kind of reflect on that and go back and and just, you know, put myself in in that time. So that was some of my favorite memories from 2018 and it was a great year. What can I say? I exceeded my expectations. I met a lot of cool new people, went to different places that I never thought I would go to, all because of fitness. So fitness is awesome. And I wanted to wish you guys a happy New Year's and I wish you all a great 2019. So Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in 2019. Bye, everybody.